On September 25th, the world lost a pioneer, a mentor, and a friend. He's like a grandfather to me. I mean, I was one of his scholarship boys at Wake Forest. When I went to his funeral, I, I, I felt so, so sad. But everybody felt, felt the same way I felt, so it made me feel pretty good that it wasn't just me. It was like everybody felt so sad because he's gone, and he was a guy, a person, and a player, and a, and a father that we all looked up to and that we all love so much. It's just, uh, it really is pretty sad that he's gone. Just days after Palmer's death, the PGA Tour champion's family paid tribute to the icon at the Toshiba Classic with a salute to Arnie, using his trademark umbrella as a symbol of their gratitude to his legacy. The Gary players of this world, the Tom Watsons, the, the Jack Nicholases, really were respected in the game. Arnold Palmer was loved, big difference, and we wouldn't be playing for the money we are. We wouldn't be on television the way we are. We wouldn't have that media coverage that we have without Arnold Palmer, so we have a lot to thank him for. He made golf popular with mainstream USA. He brought a whole entire audience to the game that may have not ever gravitated towards golf. He had an army, Arnie's army. Nobody else had ever had an army, I think, on the golf course. Arnie did. He's represented so many wonderful brands uh, as an ambassador, as a spokesperson. Uh, he's been a tremendous role model for many of us to follow. When you had an opportunity to meet Arnie, he engaged you like he wanted to know about you. He looked you straight in the eye and he was interested in what you do for a living and where you live. He showed a genuine, I care. And that translated into just being a guy that everybody wanted to be around. And he was the people's champion. It doesn't matter if you were me or if you were a, a, a fan or you were somebody that you know he met in the grocery store. He made you feel so comfortable. He just had that touch about him, that energy about him that was just, uh, it's almost indescribable. I remember walking into Bay Hill the first time and had my hat on and he saw me and he says, you need to take that hat off. And I'm like, you know, you're right, because at home I do that, but I just didn't think about it. The enormity of the King's impact extends to those who never held court with him. I've never met Arnold, you know, I've never been in his company, you know, being based in Europe. But when I got home uh, the week after Pebble, I had a letter through the, in my letterbox uh, with uh, Arnold Palmer written on top. But I opened it up and it was dated three days before he died. And it just said, you know, fantastic win at Pebble. Um, you play the 18th fabulously. You've taken to senior golf really well. I wish you every success in your career. Signed, Arnold Palmer. Now I'm having that letter framed for obvious reasons. I'm just fortunate that I had the great opportunity in my lifetime to be as close as I was to him and um, something I'll never forget.